Like all good movies, there's a part two. <laughs> we'll have a postscript here. You forgot one question. Forgot one question that uh, is posed to both of us, and that is, if you had absolute global power, what three changes would you make?
you have over a golf course? Yeah, and, uh, the Whalen boys knew Jack. <laughs> <laughs> we heard some stories even when they knew I was going to marry Dan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they told me Jack camp stories. That's not yeah. too far off from mailboxes, is it? That's right. <laughs>
saying like uh, what six to twelve or something like that, maybe older even, was going and getting an ice cream cone at Mahars. Now I mean we just didn't go and get one scoop. It uh, was a triple. <laughs> and doll, Papa, Mary Lloyd and I all would go uh -huh. and get our ice cream cones. And, that was it. and there were times <laughs> which I'll have to tell too. When we were big teenagers, like in 11th or 12th grade, we would still go down, you know, it was a couple times a week, down with mom and dad, and then if we would see some cute boy, well, we didn't want to be sitting in the back seat licking our ice cream cones with us, yeah. so Mary Lloyd and I would drop to the floor of the back seat of the car, <laughs> <laughs> and I, while mom and dad would be trying to uh, play. But that was a big, uh, that was so We cool. were, uh, Pop was talking about a time when you were driving by uh, dad's oh, house, and yeah. you were driving. That's right, that's right. What happened right. there? Well, uh, Mary Lloyd and I, we, uh, she, I had an eye on Dad and so forth. <laughs> <laughs> and so every once in a while, he lived on Hathaway, and uh, well, Charlotte, that corner there, and every, um, or Wisteria, and every once in a while, we would drive by to see what Bill Camp was doing. This would be in the evening, and he was always sitting out on the um, screened-in porch with his feet propped up and reading. Time Magazine. <laughs> this was at 27 or 28 hey, years old. We'd drive by. Right? <laughs> I'm not kidding. There he would. So we would drive by. and just, So one time we drove by. we do this once a week or twice a week. Uh -huh. And this is when I was dating him, you know, just uh -huh. at the very beginning. And he only asked me out maybe once every three weeks or, you know, was it uh -huh. the early part of the okay. court, uh, courtship. And so we uh, drove by. And one time he was reading the magazine and we saw him look toward the street and thought, oh my God, he can see us. <laughs> so I scooted down and we drove <laughs> headless <laughs> down, <laughs> down the street. <laughs> and uh, and, I, and I curved around right <laughs> like that and almost ran into somebody's lawn. <laughs> but we, it was, yeah, uh, those are little things. And of course, we <laughs> never really discussed that too much. <laughs>
right, here we go. Damn, green peach. It's an empty bag. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's a toothbrush. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Pete, what did you just give me? <laughs> this is 19. <laughs>